Sometimes we're going to want to get the node at the index, and sometimes we're going to want to get the node one before the index. And the problem with just having one get node method, it's totally reasonable to decrease the index by one and then call it, which is what we did here. But the issue with doing that is this out of bounds exception is not going to print out the right index value. So there's a slight problem right there. What I'm going to do is create a whole another method. Can't call it the same thing, but I'm going to call this get previous node. Now, when I get the previous node, index has to be at least one, which means zero is no longer a valid index. So if index is less than one or size is less than or equal to index, uh, if I'm going to get the previous, I think I can go allow it to be one more here. There's another way to think about this. You could previous node. So index needs to be at least one. If index minus one is less than zero, or index minus one. So I could just offset index like this instead of adding one to the other side of the inequalities. Uh, it's okay either way. Let's see, the index out of bounds exception, the index I'm sending in is one more than the index I'm looking for. So I think, so I think I wanna go plus one. And the reason I put parentheses here because if you don't parenthesize it, and just go plus one, the order of operations, it will concatenate these string as strings before it adds one. So I wanna first add one to index and then concatenate the strings. So this needs to change. If index is one, we're gonna return head. Remember, it's getting the node before the index value that's sent in. And then current's going to equal head. Let's see, no, not next. How do we want to adjust this? I think I can just go minus one here. Well, I less than minus one. This will run one less time than it would have before. And I think this should fix it. Uh, so if index is zero, we're in trouble. If it's less than one, we're in trouble. And so if index is zero, uh, then this shouldn't work. No, nope, I don't actually wanna go plus one here. If index is zero, this should be an out of bounds exception. Oh, it's making my head hurt. Yeah, because this would be the index we're looking for, but we want to grab the node before it. Okay, so this should be one more than the actual index of the node we're trying to grab. Oh, I hope this works. We'll find out really soon. So I'm going to do get the previous node, and I'm just going to use index. All right, should function the same. Of course, we're gonna go test it and we'll test it with negative one, uh, zero, one, and then four and five. So we'll do the negative one should still fail. Uh oh, oh no. So it looks like it added coffee at position three at index two. Ooh, it's pretty far off from what I was hoping for. Get previous node and that would have used index negative one.
Negative one plus one is zero, so it's not less than zero. Ah, there is no, okay, so if, I'm gonna just go index like that. Oh man, does that mean we don't add anything to index? We may have to break this into two separate cases for throwing exceptions. And yes, link lists should make your head hurt. Perfect. All right. Well, maybe it's not perfect, but I was expecting to see an exception. All right. Well, I was hoping to see index equals zero. In the math world, this is called guess and check. All right, we got index equals zero and should be between zero and size of four. Okay, so I like the output there, so that's good. So negative one produced the output I was looking for. While we're looking at bad indices, let's try the other bad one, the ones on the boundary. Five should also be bad. Hopefully it'll print out five, we'll find out. All right, index equals, oh no. All right, so it's what I thought. We're gonna have to break this into two separate if statements. So we'll deal with the negative first, which looked like it worked. And then we'll deal with too big next. Uh, so good news is it was called correctly, but I think we just want to print out index because I wanted that to be five because that's what I had in my testing code. Okay, index equals five. All right, great. So now I'm really nervous about zero and four, which are the extreme valid indices. It's the smallest and the largest valid. So while we're at five, let's just go with four. We'll go with the one right next door. This one should work and it should put coffee at the end into index four. And remember we're using that previous, uh, get previous node here. Oh. Not good. I'm printing out the right index, but it shouldn't have. So this will be in the add method, which I should have just clicked right there, get there in one second. All right, this node index. I think we probably maybe don't want that. It's less than index. And when we change this, I'm gonna have to retest five. Just because it works for four now, I changed something significant. It may no longer work properly for five. I'm not too worried about zero because zero is handled separately and above. Oh no. So this one should have worked. If size, it's actually okay. It's okay for index to equal size. So size should be four, index should be four. So this should only happen when index is bigger than size. It's important to struggle with these things yourself. I realize you're watching me struggle with them, but I'm trying to talk to myself or you uh, to describe what's going on in my mind. 
So hopefully when you do things like this, uh, you'll have some kind of guidance as to how to go about it. So this did put coffee at the end. That's good. I didn't see the exception. So now we're going to go back to five and hopefully it will fail in the correct way with the exception telling us the index is five. Okay, index is five. All right, and should be between zero and size four. Great. Okay, so that worked for five. It was a correct output for five, correct output for four. Uh, we already tested zero, and let's go with one. That'll be the small valid index. That's, that's considered a more middle index. It's not on the edge. The edge would be zero and four. I'm not even sure we tested zero, actually. All right, so we added coffee at position one, and that looks like the right result. We'll put coffee at position zero. Hopefully that will put it in the right place. And we already tested negative one, so I feel good about negative one. Good coffee is right there at index zero. Uh, we'll just do negative one just to be safe. And I think these will be all the ones we need to test. So we did the biggest and smallest valid ones, and then the invalid values right next to it. And you might be thinking, well, what if, what if we have an invalid element? Well, the elements we're using are strings, and as long as you have a string, you're fine. Uh, as to what you put in this string is up to you. Uh, you could put the empty string, but that's not going to be uh, nice when you print it out because you're not going to, it'll just look like comma, space, comma. It won't really look like there's anything there. All right, so I did, uh oh, I did negative one and it printed out zero. Where are we? Huh. Okay, so it did call, so it skipped this because index was negative one, so it went right to here. There's a couple ways to solve this. What I'm trying to do is get all the functionality into this get previous node. The downside of that is get previous node, it gets more complicated. What I could do right here is just check the value of index, and if it's negative, I could throw the exception right here. Uh, but I'm trying to do as much as I can in the get previous node because later on your other methods are going to call the get previous node and if your index is invalid uh, that that get previous node will go ahead and throw the exception for you. Let's go back to get previous node. thinking we just put index here. And this is only going to happen when index is negative, so this shouldn't affect the uh, positive indexes, indices. And index, oh man. Oh no, we're good. Negative one was all right, what's that value? Great. I'm just going to try negative two, and then we'll retry zero, but I'm pretty sure zero will work because we handled that differently. So this should print out, yeah, negative two. I saw it on the screen. I'm not going to scroll back up. Now, technically, we're getting the previous node, so... If index is zero, there is no previous node. So I'm really tempted to go less than or equal to zero. I don't think that's gonna affect us here because when index equals zero, the way we're using this when index equals zero and we call the add, we handle 
zero separately. We don't actually call this uh, get previous node method. All right, so I feel good about add at the index, and we will worry about exceptions next, how to handle them nicely in your test code, then we'll cover remove.